Vocal of the Year. about this risotto is that I'm not actually using rice, I'm using potato and it works just the same as rice because it's got so much starch in it, it makes it really creamy. It's a really nice little twist on the classic risotto. I'm also using lardo di polinata. This is basically just cured pork fat and it is so rich and so indulgent and it adds the best flavour. So I'm using this instead of butter today. We're finishing this risotto off with some pan fried scallops. For the competition, I actually used hand dyed scallops, they were massive and they were incredible. But for this, I'm just going to use regular ones. Little tip is just to have a bit of kitchen roll or a napkin and let the scallops dry out on the paper. This just means you're going to get a really nice crusty caramelisation on each side of them. If you get them straight from the fridge when they're wet, then you're not going to get a good colour on them. So it's a good little tip for the scallops at home. We're going to start off with our sofrito at the start of every good risotto. So normally I'd always use a bit of butter and olive oil, but obviously the star is really good here is the lardo. So I'm just going to use a little bit of olive oil to help that melt down. Once that's melted, we're going to add our base. Today I'm using leek, onion and garlic. To be honest, it's what I use all the time for all my risottos. So once that lardo's hit the heat, it literally just melts down and dissolves. So I'm going to ready now for me to add my vegetables. So go on top of the risotto alongside the scallop, I'm also going to do some braised baby onions. Really easy to do. I'm going to start off with some butter into my pan, let that melt down, and I'm going to add my baby onions. If you can't get hold of fresh baby onions, feel free to use pickled onions. Just give them a good rinse, just to take off some of that vinegar. The sharpness will work really well in this dish. So now we've got a nice little bit of caramelisation there, and we're going to go with a splash of vinegar and some sugar to put through. As this sugar starts to cook and dissolve, that's going to turn into a really nice sticky caramel. That's what we're looking for. A little bit of seasoning. So onions are ready, you can put them aside and get back to our risotto. So our sofrito has been cooking now for about 8 minutes, really low heat. Like with all my cooking, you've got to do it low and slow, you don't want to get full in here. We're going to treat this as you would rice. We're going to add it in and we're going to reduce a little bit of white wine to add some flavour as well. So the wine's evaporated, we've cooked that down, so now we're ready to start adding our stock. Same as risotto, we're going to go one ladle at a time. We're going to mix it, we're not going to walk away, we're going to stay with it. And once that ladle of liquid is absorbed, we go in with the next. I'm going to keep on doing this until the potato is tender to the bite. So we're about five minutes off from the risotto being ready. So we're going to move on to our scallops. We want our pan nice and hot, our scallops are nice and dry. We can season them both sides, dead simple, salt and pepper, and then we're going to start to cook them. Olive oil in the pan, heating up, you want to make sure it's really hot before you put the scallops anywhere near it. When you're adding your scallops, you want to always put the wider side down first. If you look, there's a smaller and a larger side. The big side down first. And we're not going to touch these at all for three minutes. So we've had about one and a half minutes now. I'm not going to touch them yet. The reason we don't want to touch them and start moving them around a lot is because it disturbs that surface area that we're trying to get some colour on. Just don't be tempted. I know it's really difficult. We just leave them face down and don't touch them. Scalp's going to take 
one more minute on the other side. I don't like my scallops completely cooked through. I like them medium well, just to have more flavour and more texture to them. My risotto is ready, I'm going to turn this off and we're going to finish this up. This is my favourite part of every risotto to finish it. So you always add some ice cold butter and I can't stress enough to you how important it is to have your butter cold. If it's room temperature, you're going to get an oily finish. Keep it in the fridge or even the freezer and dice it really, really, really small. And we're going to beat this into the hot risotto off the heat with some parmesan and you're going to see this transform into something incredibly creamy and amazing. Scallops are ready so they can come out of the pan. I just checked the seasoning, I had a little bit of pepper, didn't really need any salt because our stock and our larder was naturally very salty. Onions are ready, I've got some hair oil that I've been compressing for 24 hours and I've got some truffle carpaccio. Lado potato risotto with pan fried scallops and truffle carpaccio.